Hello, everybody, and welcome to La Luna Cajun Studios in southern part of Louisiana. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so tonight, this morning, I think we're this morning at this point. Um, I had made a video earlier about my haul from Mad Micah's, if y'all want to go check that out. Please subscribe uh, to my channel and give it a thumbs up. As well as ring the little bell. If you don't ring the little bell, there's something with, you know, YouTube likes it and, well, I like it too. And on Facebook, if you like, follow as well and share videos. Um, not just like, because just a thumbs up. I don't know what the thing about that is. But, um, like, heart it, smile at it, laugh at it, whatever. <laughs> just don't give it an easy thumbs up. You know. So, anyways. We are making Sparkling Plum, which is going to be part of my series for December, January, and through February. Uh, it's going to be a lot of plum and fig. If you had seen that haul video, that shows me doing my do I like or don't I like. And I liked everything that I got from Wholesale Supplies Plus, um, which is their Crafter Choice brand of fragrance oils. So now we're going to soap because I think I have everything ready and I'm going to try to do um, piping, which I'm not usually successful at. I'm good at it on cakes, but I don't know when it comes to soaping, I kind of suck at it. But in here, I got all my oils. There's no butters in this one, but I did add my titanium dioxide to my oils because that's the kind I have. So now we're going to get the lye water. Everything is pretty much around 71 to 75 degrees. Um, we're going to slowly pour this in to eliminate air bubbles. But by the time we do all the banging and tapping, their bubbles come out anyways. Oh, and another thing I might add. Yeah, I'm banging the bowl. <laughs> um, if you decide to get into soaping, long sleeve gloves, shoes. I don't know who decided to start soaping with no shoes. I did it with socks one day. Let me tell you what, a lie burn is a burn. It's like a chemical burn and it really, really hurts. You do not want to get it on your feet because that really burns, especially when you go to wear shoes the next day and not mm -hmm. flops. So keep your body protected from head to toe. So we're going to stick blend this. Yeah, you hear this thing, huh? She's not sounding too hefty tonight. So we're going to stick blend this at least to thin trace. I don't want her getting too sloppy and sticky on me. I don't think she's going to take long. We're soaping at cool temperatures. It tends to usually go pretty fast. I can feel it thicken. I think it just be my hands tarred. I think it's my hands tarred. And then it's, we've been having this crazy cold weather. So on top of it, see all those air bubbles came up, huh? That ain't cool. Uh, but on top of it, my arthritis kicked in. <laughs> and it's all in my hands, unfortunately. But I oil rub that and I'm good to go. Because I make a oil, pain oil for that. We sell that too in the shop. And so far, we've had and gotten so many compliments on all the different pains and aches and hurts that people have and how much it really helped them. So, head on over and give it a shot. Check it out. This is looking like Dan Trace Bouillie. It's not even tracing, actually. Oh, I hate that when it oil slips. Alright, I think that's good. I don't want to get too crazy with it. I still got to peter it off, and I still got to fragrance oil it. And I didn't look... Again, what is it with that and me? I'm such a troublemaker, aren't I? So, this color is Flirt. This is our new one by Mad Micah's. She's a pretty color. 
kind of raspberry-ish. This one is Love Poem. And I'm probably not saying that right. Dang, these braces. This is by Nurture Soap. And this beautiful big baby is Purple Vibrance by Nurture Soap. And when I'm going to come to put it in the bag to pipe it, because I'm going to get crazy like that later, I am going to use Grape Ape by Mad Micas, because I love this color. That color can be seen on our Mad Earl soaps that we did <clears throat> in June. I believe there's a video somewhere about that around here. So we're going to plop a little of each per bucket. Yeah, so I got this new bucket. I love my buckets that I get from, um, I get them right down the road at Renovations, which is a hardware store. What I don't like is that I can't get the metal off. I'm going to have to wait till the husband gets back and him whip out one of his little fancy tools. And I, you know, I just, I tried to cut the plastic and I cannot get them off. And this is not good to be soaping with. Just another little problem in Leia's world. All right, so we're going to stick blend in our colors. I'm trying to talk over the thing, right? I'm always trying to do that. Oh, my hand. Oh, my hand, my hand. Um, so, Thanksgiving's coming. I want to know what you cook. Turkey, ham. Are you going to celebrate it like the pilgrims and Indians? You know your girl here, she's got some Indian up in her. A good chunk of Indian. She's not just cagey. So we're doing, of course we're doing ham, but we could eat ham all year long. It's not like it's just a Thanksgiving thing. But we're also thankful to some of our past loved ones that <laughs> They left some really awesome recipes behind. So we're going to do our Cajun dirty rice, but we do it with smothered pork chops. And that's very thankful to my dad's friend for that. Awesome recipe. Cannot deny it. So we're going to have that. Move my big buckety to the side. And we're going to do turkey breast this year. So for Christmas, I could beg somebody, come on, please. Let me have some turkey. Because <laughs> y'all didn't get, let me have it for, uh, for Thanksgiving. I want it for Christmas. I bought some new spatulas. You see these guys with their pop-off lids, right? I'm always complaining. But I went and buy some new ones. And I'd hate the sticker to fall off while I'm soaping. Oh my god. I can barely get it off. How why would it come off when I'm actually soaping with it, right? I love these. You can find these at your Walmart. You know the store where they make you check out yourself after you shop by yourself. Um, but yeah, you could get these at Walmart. I don't even think they $2 a piece. And to me, that's awesome. Because I could buy a few at a time and make it last. So we're going to add a little bit to each. 
I know I'm going to end up needing, it, it's only four ounces. I'm going to end up needing my, my whole four ounce for, um, for the soap. So I'm just taking a little bit at a time. Oh, it actually slows down trace. I like that. That's awesome. Really, really nice. God, that pink is so pretty. It's like that old-fashioned bubblegum pink. Very, very pretty. And this purple, him too. He's like an old-fashioned candy purple. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And my poor containers, they don't even have the numbers on them anymore. So it goes to show you, you don't soap in, uh, in what the measurement cup says. You do it on a scale. Because that would be no use to me. I really, really like this flirt. So very nice. Very, very pretty. Alrighty. So, we're using these molds from Two Wild Hairs. You can find them on the Etsy shop. I like this. This is awesome. No lining. You could bang and guess what? It ain't going to wear. Very, very cool. So, first, we're going to add the rest of this in here, which has started to thicken up quite a bit. Yeah, I moved my, uh, <laughs> I moved my spatulas and utensils closer. I had to find out. It looks like an ice bucket, I think. I don't know. It's a container that wasn't being used, and now it is. Ah, that's how I see that. Oh, this got a good fluid to it. Just like a bouillie before it thickens. When it's cold, it's all I think about is food. <clears throat> all right. Oh, I have no style plan for this so first oh man first i'll try not to pour it outside the container first i'll try not to make a dang mess i know y'all can't see me and i'm very sorry let me move over don't worry you ain't missing nothing but my mess <sighs> moody with the mess I think that's what I'm going to try to do is a high top pour swirl beans. I'm using so many colors and I do want to pipe because I want to be all complicating. So Go down that way. And then the next. And so on. Like so. Try not to make too much of a mess. There are messy soapers out there and they got the pretty neat ones. The pretty and neat ones, I praise you. Because I am nothing pretty or neat. It's pouring very nicely. I'm trying to do that left-handed. I'm not very good left-handed. You've seen that, huh? Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Try to get this on both sides. To fill it in. Means I don't have dividers to actually hold the separation. 
reason I'm doing that in here instead of my huge big bucket is quite honestly, I didn't want to have to take out the paper, start wrapping. It's a lot of work to put those big molds together and I really did not feel like doing it plain and simple. So that's just the only reason why I didn't get done. And these are just so, so convenient. And I have a butt, butt ton of them, so it worked to my advantage. I'll go a little thicker because I'm almost out. And it's thick. It's about to start glooping. I'm going to put this directly in my big bucket. I don't know if y'all could see me over here or not. <clears throat> Scrape out as much as possible. I really don't like leaving anything in the container like to leave that as clean as possible that's what I think I need to try to find me next is one of those enormous huge spatulas that can get in this bow and do an awesome scrapey <laughs> I would like that all right we're gonna come back with the purple on top which I don't think I have much room for quite honestly just one little line maybe Oh, one little line that maybe we could try to keep it in. All right. I can't even tell you how good this smells or not. My sense of smell, I think, has gone out to the hogs. It does smell good. I, I can tell you that. I'm not saying that I can't smell it at all. I'm just not smelling as good as I usually do. It's a pretty smell. It's girly. But I say that at the same time, I got guys who love the girly stuff too, so go figure. Can't say everything's girly. wanting to grab that that strap that strap ain't gonna help me do proch it will not help me I don't know why I grab it that's why I take it off too it's because I always want to grab it that's not gonna help me pick up that bucket it's all it's gonna do is flip it <clears throat> the things we go through to soap <laughs> That's all I'm saying. The things we go through to soap. All right. Let me see what I'm going to do. Let's um, let's tap these out. Preferably without our face in them. Clean that up. I'm sure one day I will make beautifully awesome soap in the video. Until then... Just is what it is. Now, as easy as these do pop out of here, I do like to do a drag um, to help it out. I mean, it will pop out quite easy regardless. Just something about the way the molds are. 
they work very awesome for that. I just like to drag through, triple insure it. I think beans, we have two that are a little lower. I don't know if I should, I don't know. How's about that? A big fat Leia does not know. Let's do a big swirl. I don't know if, how much it's going to pick up from underneath because I got a little, my little chopstick. I don't know how much big swirling I'm doing with a little chopstick. There we go. Let's try that. Well, it's giving me time to play with it. That's pretty cool. All right. Leave that poor fella alone. Hmm. We're gonna go this way. <clears throat> and then come back. Hopefully hit the opposite of the ones that we just went through. And then go up this side. Come down. I feel it when I come down the middle. How thick it is. It's super tick tick. I'm pulling my towel all over the place. All right. Before I swirl these out, I'm going to pour the rest of this batter on top. I don't think I'm going to get to piping. I surely wanted to, though. I had such big hopes and dreams. I would have probably had to leave out a whole container's worth in order to pipe. Just... And have to keep practicing until I get it right, right? That's pretty much how that goes. Ow. I'm block your view for a second. Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to have to use gray tape now somewhere else. <laughs> I do love that color. I just can't help that. I don't want no weird white and pink because it always comes out looking like meat and that's just disgusting. We already had one meat soap for the year. We don't need another. Okay, so I'm going to drag around and then swirl. Strange, you hit the middle and you could feel how thicker it is than the sides from where all the extra batter had set. Did I tell y'all? Guess what? <clears throat> so, um, because somebody thinks I'm pretty awesome or brilliant. I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> I think they think I'm pretty awesome, quite honestly. And I say I think because they have told me that. They have told me that I'm pretty awesome. Uh, we have been gifted a bar cutter. And no, it is not from the company. Um, it's from friends. And that is pretty awesome in my book. So that comes from Nurture Soaps. So when I cut up these pretty babies, y'all get to see that. And to me, I can't wait. That's awesome. So I'm hoping tomorrow I could cut these. Now, they don't have very many hard oils in it. So I don't know how much cutting is going to actually happen. I just don't know. I just don't know. I do know I had... Huh, my other nifty tool that we could dust, sprinkle, sparkle, make it pretty on top. Yeah, I have one of those tools out here. Let me see if I could find it real quick. Oh, yeah, I had it across the studio. <clears throat> I'm back. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little. I'm curious if I can. 
This is still so runny. So, so runny. See, I can't even do nothing with the tops. Well, that goes to show you, this color takes forever to get to trace. There you go, people. You want a color that slows down trace and makes it that you can really work with it? There you go. That is the one. That dude right there. Crafter's Cho Choice Sparkling Plum Fragrance Oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Slows down trace like snail crawl. There you go. Just look. I can't do nothing. It's not holding anything. I'm almost tempted to put it back in the bucket. And then see if I can pipe with it. Because this ain't doing crap. Ain't doing squat. And I'm not messing with these. These are actually pretty. And I bet you they're beautiful in the knee. Oh, how do you say stop? Leave it alone. Okay, I'm leaving it alone. I'm stopping. Where's one of my nifty little new spoons? Oh, mad. Mad, Micah's. You're so cool. Saw that? Like the little sherbet spoons. I'm going to put a little bit of this to add a little bit of sparkle. This is Rustic Essentials Icicle Mica. I got a bunch of that, me, because I get a little crazy sometimes. I think I'm, oh my God, my lid was barely on. Oh, what was I thinking? I think I'm going to add a little bit of flirt. From Mad Micah's. Just a little hinty. Not too much. That's what that darker red in here is. Pink. I'm calling it red. That's pink. And maybe a little bit of our purple. Which is purple vibrance mica. I need to order some more of this one. I need a big container. This is the same one I use for St. Mike because I like it that much. It even gets a new name when it's in my studio. And just a smidgen, because we've got enough smidgens of it right now, is Love Poem. Poem. I'm not going to say it right. Just whatever. It's a whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting to be a delirious. And I just a hinty of this. Let's go over this one that's not the uh, bestest right now. Give this a stir. I'm just going to move this to the side because I'm going to flip this uh, upside down. Oh, that comes out thick, ain't it? It's almost like doing a mica line. It's so thick. That's okay. You go and act like that. Um, you see, I'm so... Ooh, mm. oh, I'm off my game. Y'all just might get music. See me fumble around with music. <laughs> That's what just might happen. Yeah, I'm looking for my, um, this has some blue in it, but it's still pretty. I mean, it just like splattered right there, but that's all right. Splattering never hurt nobody. I'm looking for my rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Maybe she grew legs and ran off too. 
Oh, you see it? You see all the glitter? Whew. It's like getting beaten with a fairy. Ever went to Renaissance? I promise you, it's like getting beaten with a fairy. This comes out really thick, so I'm just going to spritz it lightly. See? Now it looks like we went through the car wash. I'm going to stop because I keep having this feeling I'm going to keep going and I'm bound to wreck something. I want this to come up like some peaks, but it's not wanting to work. God, I hate the smell of rubbing alcohol. Who likes that? That's what I want to know. My sister said she likes it. But who out there? That's my question of the day. Katie Carson has one. Now I got one for you too. Who likes the smell of rubbing alcohol? I mean, like, is that a thing? Pooey. Me no likey. Looks like I'm I'm clenching, ready for the shot. <laughs> Who wants that? But my sister's a nurse too, so maybe that's why she likes it. I know you see me, huh? I just want to touch it. <laughs> I'm stopping. I promise you. That's it. I'm finished. All right. So I got another batch of soap to make, and I got to prep that up because now I just made a mess. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that sounds nasty. It's allergies, and it's South Louisiana crazy weather. Now, don't give me a chance. I, it. By the way, if you're traveling south because you a snowbird, be warned, fall skipped us this year. She decided that we weren't worth having a fall because we went straight into winter. And that's really sad because I really like fall a lot. So it makes me wonder, are we going to have winter weather all the way past through Mardi Gras? Which, mind you, Mardi Gras is in March this year, people. March... Fifth is Fat Tuesday. So, yeah. Thank goodness it's not in February again. I don't know how many fat Or January. We even had one year it was in January. I can't hang like that. Mardi Gras needs to be in a February, March. To me, that's normal. So, alrighty. I'm going to stop complaining here because that's what this is. <laughs> This is what this is becoming. We're going to let these babies sit until tomorrow afternoon. Maybe tomorrow night. I'm going to change the temperature in here because now it's starting to feel like a sauna. Uh, and then now it's going to make this cook and we really don't want it to physically cook. So I'm going to put these up on the shelf over there. We're going to let them do their thing. They've been sprayed, so we should have no ash. We'll come back. I'll unmold, and y'all could see me work out the soap out the mold. And then we'll use our new baby. And she doesn't have a name. She might be called Baby. Or Bebe. Or Sweetie. Hmm. And by the way, she's blue. She is pretty. I just love her so much. She's like my new favorite gadget. So... Alrighty, y'all have a good night. Talk to y'all later.